Hello everyone and thanks for checking this video. In this video we will talk about how to defend in one hit format Zap Witches, Zap Dragons, Zap Queen Charge Hybrid and Queen Charge Hybrid. Just a couple of points before I start. The first one is about the quality. I know that it's not the best and that's because I had to record it on my phone. Because with university and exams I'm quite busy and I can't set up all the proper things I need on my PC to record. The second one is about the language. As you may know, I'm Italian, so you won't hear me saying things in proper English. So I may say mozzarella instead of mozzarella, but <laughs> that's the situation. Let's talk about the story behind this video. With a war in MNCW against Viper Pit, which we tied perfect perfect. So we had to do a rematch 10 vs 10. And in this rematch it was one hit format. So I looked at their attacks and they mainly used 3 or 4 attacks. Queen Charge Hybrid was like 70% of their attacks, followed by Zap Witches, Queen Charge Zap Hybrid and Zap Dragons. So I tried to build a base using the same ideas that we used in our previous war, so that I knew which way they were gonna hit it. So now let's look at the bases. The idea behind the base is quite simple. I copied some concepts from our previous bases because I knew how they would eat it. For example, here I have storages near the Inferno Tower. And that's because when I have this setup, they usually do Queen Charge Hybrid. Whereas if I had, for example, defenses near Inferno Towers, then they would Zap Witch. And this base, as you can see, isn't really strong versus Zap Witches due to a lot of holes. So I tried to bait Hybrid. Another thing I did was the eagle compartment, which is in the core, and as you can see, it's quite isolated. Sometimes, when it was isolated, they would usually zap it, but in this case it doesn't make sense to zap it, because I have these air sweepers on the sides that give access to the eagle. Another thing was the clan castle placement. It's near the queen, and it can be zapped together, but you can get enough value if you zap, because you will get, yes, the clan castle, the queen, but you can get any of these. Another thing I did was their defense positioning. They are three tiles diagonally apart, which means that you can quake them together, but you cannot zap them together, which is quite effective versus the dragon, or maybe a bait. Then I have this king and this suspicious area, which may or may not be a Tesla farm. As for the traps, here is the base. I expected a queen charge down in this area and hybrid in this area, with siege barrack in this area to take down the king. So I couldn't place my tesla farm near the king. After some testing I noticed that my traps were <laughs> wrong. And that's because I expected a queen charge in this area, but I had no traps in this area, only the sweepers. Moreover, if they would zap this area, then they could have come from the top area, but I can't have the Sams in this area for dragons and in this area for the queen charge, because I don't have 20 of them, I have 5. So what I did was keep the wall layout, but change traps. And this is the way I did it. So as you can see I have sweepers pointing up which means that you can't really charge into the Inferno Towers. And if you were to use Zap Dragons, you would Zap here, Zap here, or Sui here, Zap here, and then come from the bottom. And if you were to Queen Charge, you wouldn't Queen Charge here, and then Hybrid the bottom, but you would Queen Charge here, and then Hybrid this side. I changed the Skelly positioning, because the idea was one Skelly here, to keep them busy, and then the BK and the Teslas to eat them. Then one scale here, and the Tornado, and then one scale here. So basically I had multiple points with DPS, whereas in the previous base it was mainly one point. Here I have three. Let's analyze how I made the base. I started with the Eagle compartment and made it unwalkable from the sides. I made this dead zone and then built the inferno compartment which was also unwalkable from the sides except from inside the eagle compartment. 
This compartment is made so that you can freeze the wizard tower and the inferno together. So that they wouldn't try something like drag bat. I was quite worried at first about a queen charge going this way into the inferno, then the eagle and then the other inferno. So I was maybe considering doing a dead zone the other way. Which is this way. This was better because a queen charge would go into here and then into there. But I noticed that they wouldn't queen charge here anyways because of the hole. The hole would make troops split, so like go this way or this way. Also I had the Sams, the king to pull troops over and the inferno to roast the healers. So in the end I decided to keep the old setup. I made this expo zone in this area because attackers are more likely to hit from the bottom. So this way or this way. And then I basically finished the base. The king in this area is meant to suggest a Tesla farm. But in the end I swapped it this way to have much more DPS in the core. So this is again the final version. And now let's look at the war. This is the war, as you can see we won the rematch. And this is the base that I showed you before, same base. To be honest, I expected some sort of queen charge in this area and an hybrid. But they used another attack, which was zap drag. And I planned for it because I had the air defenses in this area, all the sums here, the sweeper here as to reverse bait. So they zapped the air defenses, the other defenses and then made a sui to funnel troops into this area. The only issue here is that I have all my sams in this area. One here. And then there were more in a bit. As you can see, all the dragons are dying. And at this point the attacker knew that <laughs> he wasn't gonna triple this base because it was, it was half the base gone but all this area was yet to be attacked. So in the end the stone slammer popped, the inferno and the wizard tower killed the loons and then he had some minions on the top side for clean up. This is now the end of the video and I want to make things clear. This is not a good base, because if you use Zap Witches it can get tripled easily in friendly challenges. So if you maybe copy this base I would suggest to switch traps. But uh, this is a really really good base in a specific situation, because I knew what the opponent was going to use. You can do the same as what I did in this video, for example if you look on YouTube at the enemy recaps and know what they use, you can build against that. In this case I used some mind tricks and some previous concepts to know what they were going to use or not use. So for example Zap Witches, Zap Witches will triple this base and will likely triple a lot of other bases. but. This zone, I knew that uh, they wouldn't zap this zone because it doesn't give enough value. And they didn't zap it in our previous war, so why would they zap it now? So zap witches is gone. Now, zap Lalo, they didn't really use zap Lalo, so I wasn't worried. Sui Lalo or Queen Charge Lalo. If they try to Sui or Queen Charge this area, then there is uh, this setup which means the troops will likely go this way or this way. If they try to sui or queen charge this area, 
then I will have my traps. And more importantly, I will have a no-fly zone on the top with all the air traps, the tornado, the Tesla farm, and the sweepers pushing bad troops. And if you try to lalo this area, you will not get the hound tanking because their defenses are all on the bottom. And the no-fly zone is on the top. This area isn't really zap value because pathing naturally goes into the eagle, as you can see. So they wouldn't zap it because they didn't zap it in the, our previous war. This area isn't enough zap value. So in the end, it was uh, Queen George this way and Hybrid this way, or it was uh, zap and then dragons. And as you can see, in both cases, I am really covered with my traps against hybrid and against the dragons. So in the end, you can use this base if you know what the opponent is going to use, but I wouldn't recommend it because maybe there is someone who will try some sort of P.E.K.K.A. smash and triple this base. Or maybe there is someone that will try some sort of bats into their defenses and triple with uh, drag bat or some other strategies that I haven't mentioned. Maybe there is a Suilalo that it's really easy to do, but uh, they just don't have anybody who does Suilalo. So you can try to use the same tricks that uh, I did in this video and maybe get uh, some sort of mind tricks on your opponent and get a defense next time. Thank you for watching and have a good day.